Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HGTV Test here. I'm still at Panasonic's show hall at IFA 2019 and what I'm sitting beside is the Japanese brand's latest transparent OLED prototype. Now, I think there have been a few transparent OLED prototypes in the past. Even Panasonic themselves showed transparent OLED back at IFA 2017 and I filmed a video but I think I forgot to switch the mic on and so the whole video was silent and I had to actually can it. But what's different about this new prototype are a couple of things. The first is that you can see that the blacks now, they can actually reach the sort of black level for any normal television because what Panasonic has done is to add a dimming layer or an LCD shutter layer behind the transparent OLED layer so that when black is required, it can be switched on to generate the sort of black that is representative of a television. Now, I'm going to try and switch off the dimming layer and you know it involves trying to feel down below and pressing a button something which I'm not really very good at but if I actually press this button here I think it will disable the dimming layer and you can clearly see my hand behind the screen now but if I actually try to switch it back on then my hand uh, won't be as apparent and as you can see the whole display is basically a sheet of glass that is held together by a wooden frame and I think the wooden frame is genuinely a nice touch. I mean it's not a bad idea to get some wood while you're watching TV isn't it? And the cool thing about this TV too is that it has been designed in partnership with a high-end Swiss furniture maker called Vitra and together they have designed the elements to be harmonious with your living environment so that when you are watching TV, you'll be watching a TV obviously, but when you're not watching TV, then this can be transparent and this can be integrated into your living space. You know, it's more of a lifestyle concept than an outright technological achievement, although I think it's pretty amazing having a transparent OLED as well. And integrated within the wooden frame as well are the power circuit boards and also all the connections. So as you can see here, the USB port is integrated behind the wooden frame here. You don't need a separate set-top box or you don't need a separate connections box to house all these connections. It's all integrated. And I think that it is going to be an exciting direction for Panasonic. Obviously, they've been harping on about Hollywood to your home, about color accuracy, about video fidelity. But on another level, they need to consider that there are lifestyle consumers out there who are aspirational, who wish for better products to elevate their living environment. And certainly, this can achieve that. And it is not as far off as you think. I mean, when I talk about transparent OLED in the past, I always imagine it in maybe, what, five years, ten years' time. But we've been informed that this could actually come to the market as soon as 2020, which is next year, according to a slide during the presentation. And I just can't wait to see what the price is. But this is Vincent Teo here, reporting from EFA 2019. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HGTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.